All right, guys. So what we're going to do is um, we are going to do some all-in-one chili beans. These are for not all. I'm keeping one jar for myself. Um, that's so because uh, I get about one batch of chili a year. So yesterday I cooked a big batch of spaghetti sauce and I need to pressure can it because I put meat in it. And I wanted to make them some chili beans. They are living off grid, and they don't they don't have a whole kitchen like what we do. So I'm gonna get some chili beans done. What I just so you guys know, this is not a recommended way to do your beans. This is the way I do my beans. You do what you want to do. It's your kitchen. Um, I have a half cup measure here, but these are one liters, and that is one full cup of dry beans. In here I have um, kidney beans, navy beans, and what was left of a uh, little bit of black beans. Now the Canadian navy beans do not um, get as big as I've been told the American navy beans, but I basically measured this out so I didn't have any waste at all. Because there's nothing worse than you doing some canning. And it actually looks like I screwed up somewhere. I'll do a couple rounds of this. It's not a big deal to me. But the... Sorry guys. The Canadian Navy beans do not puff up. I find the kidney beans do not as well. So I'm going to show you. This is what I have left. I am just going to break this down per jar not overly worried about it and then we're going to add some seasonings to it just to get my salt but I did have some left about a half a liter of spaghetti sauce left and I'm not going to waste that spaghetti sauce we're going to add it to these beautiful beans this has a bit of meat in it this has celery, peppers, and then we're going to add a bunch of water. A bunch of water. We're going to fill the water to the one-inch headline. Head. Guys, it's been a morning. Oh, I don't think they want the bay leaf, though. So we'll take the bay leaf out. Me just. Can you guys see okay? Maybe that's a little bit better for you. A little bit of both. So I'm doing a half cup measure of the spaghetti sauce as well per jar as far as I can get it anyways but I thought this would be a really good way um, they're building their home right now and I thought why not try to give them a quick meal that they can um, put together really quickly on the campfire because it's starting to get cold here. Now the other thing I do want to say guys is that my canner is cold, my product is cold. So, and yep, we're doing this without Lazy Susan and look how messy I am. Look at that. So, we're going to add some chili powder to this. I will let her know that I've put chili powder in this. And then she can just... Just a teaspoon or so-ish per jar. I'm not being too exact. They love spicy food, so... I'm not too concerned about it. And I've made them some pulled chicken... We're going to have that for a quick Sunday lunch with them. And I made homemade and a half a teaspoon of salt, guys. And I made homemade buns. I've been up since 3.30. So my energy level is starting to decline a little bit. I'm just going to pause you guys. I'm going to get some water and then we'll fill up these beautiful jars with these gorgeous beans and uh, we'll get this stuff in the canner. I'll be right back. Okay guys, 
So, down here closest to you guys. So we're going to want to fill this up to one inch headspace. Give it a good debubble. Because I had to pressure can that spaghetti sauce at 90 minutes, I only had two jars. So I didn't want to waste energy um, canning two, two jars. I just find that's absolutely ludicrous. So I thought, what can I add to the canner? This is all the same time. I'm not adjusting time in any way. canner has the recommended amount of water. Check your manual for that. Give these beans a really good stir. A lot of air pockets can hide under those beans. And we'll wipe these rims up them nice and clean. So we're filling up the canner and gifting some really good food to them as well. Because they don't have any refrigeration or anything. So this will be really good for them, I think. Wipe those rims real well. I'm seeing a lot of chili powder on my on my rims here. Clean lid. Fingertip tight and into the canner. I have vinegar also in my canner as well. Because we have an atrocious amount of iron in our water. Alright guys, I'm going to continue filling. i got two more to wipe and put in the canner. These will process for 90 minutes. If you were doing a 500 milliliter, it would be 75. But, they are a fairly large family, so we're going to do it in liters, and this is the only jar that they'll need to open. So that works out perfect. Saving jars and saving lids anymore is a great attribute. Because if it wasn't for my friend Teresa sending me lids, we would all be screwed. <laughs> I would not be putting up any food at all. So I'm really glad that she sent me some lids. Well, a whole lot of lids actually. So, all right guys, I will see you guys in a couple hours when these get all done. All right guys, here is the all-in-one chili bean rest, uh, canning. Um, couldn't bring you guys along while I was taking them out of the canner. We had kids running around. We had family here. So it was kind of crazy. And all the jars, but this one, all went to our friend's place um, for them to eat. Because they are 100% off-grid right now. And I wanted to send them some really good food back home. But this is what it looks like. Absolutely delicious. It's the only jar I'm keeping. But I'm thinking about doing some more of these. Um... Because I'll get about two pots of chili a year. So, but this will be perfect for me. One jar, one lid, not five jars, five lids. I'm trying to find ways to save on lids. Um, lids are getting really expensive, but my friend Teresa just sent me a bunch of lids so we can get canning again, which is exciting because I couldn't do barely any canning because I was out of lids and I think they were $7 a box six or seven dollars a box so it really it just got really stupidly expensive 
but they all sealed. Um, I will leave the canning directions down in the description box. Don't always, don't forget, sorry guys, don't forget to always check the description box. I always put the recipe, the canning time, and how to do it all in the box. Now, keep in mind as well, this is not a recommended canning as I use dry beans, but look how nice and full that jar is. Nothing is, you know, it siphoned a little bit, but that's okay because I hadn't pressure canned in a while and I was in a hurry. But, and the beans also soak up a lot of the juice you put in there too. But moving forward, guys, we're going to get busy canning some potatoes. We got 75 pounds to can. But I'm going to get soup going for this very rainy day. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to join our Facebook group. I'm always adding new stuff to that group as well. Everything is linked down below. I hope you guys have an awesome day. And I will see, see you guys all super soon. Bye for now.